Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video, so we are going to jump into the EZA for Android 16, 17, and 18. Um, I think that they're actually going to be a pretty powerful character, um, and I think the thing that's very exciting about this character is I do think um, like Cell Max and more Gamma characters are on the horizon. Like I think that those are like a real thing that are coming to Dokkan probably sooner rather than later, right? So, with that being the case, I think 16, 17, and 18, they were made strong enough to where they, like, you know, let's say we get um, Gammas and Cell Max and stuff like that for Anniversary, or let's say we get it for Tanabata or Golden Week or something like that. I I would, within in 2024... Superhero being one of the major celebrations, I, to me, I would say is like 99%, 98%. Um, I would be stunned and shell-shocked uh, if Superhero was not one of the major celebrations this year, right? Uh, and Cell Max, you know, Core Breaker Gammas, um, I think could really happen. And v so very, very easily um, could one of them have, like, androids on the leader skill or something like that, or, like, maybe the Gammas would have, like, joined forces or something, um, and then, you know, th this 16, 17, 18, uh, they're the type of character, they could, they should be effective for, I mean, quite a while, because you have dodge and support, they do good damage right now, 16 is, is pretty strong right now, uh, those aspects of the character will age, but the dodge and support typically will, will age longer, right, so I, I could see them being very effective, so, Definitely an easy you want to get done. Um, now, the category, I think, is kind of, like, um, a little bit ass here. Because the category they want us to use um, is actually Mastered Evolution. Which, if we take a look at Mastered Evolution, it is this one right here. Uh, this is the Mastered Evolution category. It, there are um, a significant amount of strong characters on Mastered Evolution, but a lot of them might have, like, weird restrictions, or, I, I don't know. Uh, the good thing is that a lot of these characters, I would argue, are characters that, like, free-to-play players um, are very likely to have, like, a lot of these kind of, like, um, you know, the, the, the blue Vegito and stuff like that, these major celebration characters people are likely to summon on. But we do want to keep in mind that, as with the Mastered Evolution um, category, uh, the main thing for LREZAs is actually the legendary power link is what will actually penetrate the boss's defenses and do damage. Remember, Master Evolution is so you take less damage um, and then you actually, you know, penetrate the defenses with legendary power. So what I'm doing is, I mean, I do have several of the Master Evolution characters, yeah, but a lot of what I'm using is not necessarily just the Master Evolution Typically, I do like to stick just to the category when doing these, but, I mean, I don't know that there's really, you know, much of a way around it here. Not exactly supremely good, um, you know, like, options here. Uh, future Gohan, I I've noticed, is enough to mostly tear through, uh, you know, the, the androids, though, which is really good. So, like, I would recommend, again, you know, like, a, a future lineup would work very well. Right, getting future Gohan out there, um, the blues, blue Goku and blue Vegeta, Sword of Hope Trunks, he is incredible for LREZA, Sword of Hope, um, because a, a lot of times in these very early stages, um, I don't know, like probably like stage 100, <laughs> like 100 and down on LREZAs, Sword of Hope, I mean, he's going to mostly wipe out the boss um, just with his initial turn, right? And, you know, look, look at future Gohan. So, it's like, really, with this, we could just rely on them. I, I feel like we probably we probably could just do, like, double future Gohan future 200%. Let me actually just take a quick glance. What would that look like? Double future Gohan future 200%? Um, I mean, Vegeta and Trunks would certainly... I mean, up to level 10, they might not struggle, but they would eventually. Let, let's see. So, future LR looks like this... Um, I, I mean, we could actually, uh, that probably would serve us better than the team I'm using, huh? So, something like this, 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 uh, we'll bring them, uh, and then, 
Uh, I guess we'll bring Vegito. Uh, something like this. Yeah, we, we probably would do fine. Double future Gohan like this. Because the future Gohans, you know, they basically get an attack. And 16, 17, 18, uh, they're toast. So, all right. So, here we're fighting 17, 18. Um, and then I assume 16 himself is probably the, the last fight we're going to go through. So, let, let, let's just see how this works. I, I'm not super sure, li like, how effective this is going to be. Because, um, obviously, something like um, LR Vegito Blue, the STR free-to-play LR... Oh, nice dodge. Okay. The STR LR Vegito Blue, he is not, you know, mastered evolution, of course. Right? Uh, the Tech Vegito Blue characters, the 5th Anniversary LRs, I think could be effective EZA characters. I mean, you're probably not typically going to see them transform. But, you know, in base, in slot 3, they do have the 70% chance to dodge, which is, is effective, right? Remember that in EZA content, that's where characters like, like the androids... Uh, you know, I see many, like, Japanese players, like, a lot of them really love to get as far as they possibly can in these EZAs. And the tech androids are just like a... Like a, oh yeah, there's that's a lot of damage right there. Okay, uh, the tech androids they're just like a go-to, right? Like a huge, um, really powerful character uh, in these types of fights uh, because that, the, the ghost Susher is very strong, right? Like if a character has a ghost Susher, like um, you know Pycon, Super Trunks, um, uh, uh, seventeen, eighteen, like like those are the types of things that can last uh, for a while too. Like those are kind of like those special, unique gimmicks. Remember, like a character like. I mean, the Android 16 portion of this unit, like, he'll age because he's just raw stats. But when units have, like, special stuff, that's where, you know, moving forward, um, a character could still be good for, you know, potentially quite a while. Um, okay, here we go. So, uh, this is GG. Future Gohan into Sword of Hope right here. Yeah, goodbye, androids. Uh, there's no chance they're surviving these two attacking. So, okay, okay. Yet another feather in the cap. I mean, my strategy to free-to-play players, even before this year, has always been to primarily focus on summoning on the major celebration banners, which typically have the best characters, but more importantly, the best lineup of characters featured on the banners. That's the thing they have, right? But, I mean, this year especially, you know, it's like, all of the kind of like, you know, in-between characters are just not special. None of them are, except for Vegito. Vege like, Limit Breaker Vegito is the only, like, non-major celebration character that I would actually, you know, tip my cap to. Like, you go through all, uh, all of the, the in-between Dokkan Fest this year. So, we start with the, the 17s. Um, God Goku, uh, Saiyan Day, I do count that. We're counting that as a major celebration. Um, Kale, unfortunately, right, you know... You know, mid-17 to 17, mid-golden um, week is a major celebration. We can just, I guess, leave this as is right here. Uh, we potentially could take a lot of damage here, so we do have to be careful. I do kind of like this strategy, though, because it's just, you know, get future Gohan or sort of hope a Trunks on rotation, and we win. I do kind of like that. And it always is fun. You know what's fun? Is rocking in here with 850,000 HP. That's fun. I consider that fun. <laughs> I love I love 800,000 HP. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, please, please. Uh, okay, so we went from Kale. Uh, Golden Week, of course, the major celebration. Um, then who is next? It was... Uh, it was uh, Turles. Turles was was the next Dokkan Fest. See, again, he is mid. Super Trunks, I count as mid. Uh, 17 and 18, I, I give them a mid as well. Uh, Gohan and Piccolo, I, I, I'm putting them as mid. Uh, Antro 21 is getting mid, right? Like, all of them. It's like, uh, some of them, I, I, like, super trunks. Like, I'm like, I, I, I'm like, you know, clutching at myself in an insane asylum, like, trying to call him, like, the worst ever. But, I don't, like, would I settle more on he's just mid? I don't know. I Dude, his, his design is just the worst ever. That's the problem with him. They actually gave him the worst design ever known. I, I think Super Trucks, he would have been A-OK, -okay, right? So, he, he needs the three Android Tassel Saga allies. And then he could guaranteed guard. Boom. Sounds good. But that's not what happened with him, right? Uh, Super Trunks... He gets the three Android Cell Saga, Android Cell Saga allies in order for him to get a 50 
percent chance. Like it's crazy that they did that. If Super Trunks guaranteed guarded at the start, like I, I, I would, I would like him quite a bit. I, I think actually. Uh, all right, we just got bad rotations right there. I, I kind of, I'm enjoying using this team right here. <laughs> oh, that was my new rule, right? When you get the the leader plus plus friend leader rotation, shenanigans typically do follow. Yeah, that did happen here. Um, like the problem is just that the future Gohans are so powerful it carries stuff. Uh, all right. I mean, it was fun to to one shot them, but I guess if, if things go slightly like not our way, uh, we are gonna start getting cooked here. Oh, he actually ate that. Okay, a future Gohan, not bad. He, he ate that much better than I expected. Uh, but with a future Gohan actually on rotation, we'll you know, do a lot of damage. We'll we'll actually uh take apart uh 16, 17, and 18. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, having a little bit of fun with the easy A's. I mean, I do love LR easy A's. I mean, I speak for everybody out there when I say, please make every easy A like LR easy A's. It's great. I, I mean, just for numerous reasons. Number one, I mean, I I do like going far in easy A's, but I, I, I really, to me, like personally, like what what is like uh, an update that would like enhance my enjoyment of the game even more? Um, I think uh, a revamp to the friend system would be a number one like way because um, it's like I, you know, I'll choose my words carefully here, but you know, I rainbow every single character, um, and then if it's a certain character like say seventeen and eighteen or Android twenty one or physical Turles, um, you know, people don't really summon for them, don't really link level them, don't really put resources into those characters. So I run those teams which are already a step down, and then I'm I'm using this terrible friend unit that gets me killed every run. Right, like I, that is no fun. So, like, I would, I would love if, like, you know, I could do something to make it to where I could use strong friend characters of like these weaker leaders. Again, Android Twenty One, um, you know, Turles, uh, Kale, the Seventeen and Seventeen, like any of those characters. Funny enough, I, I, I feel like Super Trunks. I, I want to say like I never had issues finding Super Trunks, but I didn't. I haven't used Super Trunks' team in quite a while. I mean, I use like. Uh, teams that me using teams. Oh, good dodge. We'll take that. Uh, me using teams is just based on new characters being added to that team, right? Like when I'm running characters in Dokkan, for me, um, I'm running units based on like you know, like using like the, the whatever new characters we get, like, like using them in showcases on their teams. So, it's like when we get, like, one of those weaker character teams, we're not really getting a, a chance to use them so much. We'll just go to the... Uh, we're on the last stage. It, it was fun to jump into the um, the future Gohan team, but we, we do need quite a few things to go our way just to kind of, like, you know, open up the sea for future Gohan to finish up. We'll do this. W one thing that sucks, this is a problem I always have, is Goku and Vegeta, it's not common. Like, I don't have waves of rainbowed blue Goku and Vegeta's. I mean, we saw this earlier in the video. I used a 55% Goku and Vegeta, right? Like, it's like, they're like, it's not common for Dokkan Fest LRs that are like, you know, a fusion or like blue Goku and blue Vegeta, something like that. And I struggle to find them ever, like ever, right? Like, it, it, it is crazy. But this character, a lot of times, I don't, It's it's because... Uh, their like their animations don't look that good. Um, they don't feel that powerful the first couple of turns as they transform into Vegito, even though that's actually not true. Because defensively in slot one, uh, they're one of the best units in the game defensively uh, for the first several turns. Right? Like it's like you look at like the Dismal Future Red Zone fights and like how difficult they start out. And Blue Goku and Vegito were designed for that with the guard plus dodge for the first several turns in slot one. Like they're they're intended to be one of the stronger defensive characters you could run in the Dismal Future Red Zone fights for the first couple of turns, and then you, you know, transform into Vegito Blue and, and finish the fight. Like, that's kind of, like, the intended design for that character. Uh, Alright, I mean, we're Mastered Evolution, so they're not gonna... This is not gonna be too bad right here. Yeah, that's, yeah, pretty easy. Uh, it's like, you know, once I... You know, when we're playing around with, like, Future Gohan and stuff like that, non... Master Evolution characters, like, they're taking damage. It, it's funny. I Like, I was like, all right, let, you know, let's go to, like, future Gohan. We could get this done, like, a little bit quicker and stuff like that. But what actually happens is that caused us to go slower <laughs> by pulling out the, the future Gohan team. All right, so there we go. There we're done. 
Um, I'll go ahead and get uh, 16, 17, and 18. Uh, we will get them easy eight up, and we can start taking them into some content. Again, I think that they will perform very well. Uh, the problem for 16, 17, and 18 right now, I would say more so, is the teams that they're on. Um, like, we can take Android 21's team, and we'll dominate all the fights, but Fusion's Amasu, the opening, like, volley of it, um, certainly is going to be very tough, right? Um, but a lot of the other fights, like, we, we should be able to work very effectively in. Um, I mean, it could work. 16, 17, 18, they will help a lot, actually, specifically for the Fusion Zamasu fight. Um, we're just going to need some some good RNG right at the start. But if, if you look at, like, the teams they're on, I mean, it's like, we pretty much got to run them on Android 21's team. I don't really, like, at, like, 17 and 18 sibling bond team, I don't want to do that. I mean, we can't run them on target Goku at, like, Androids has Cell Saga join forces, like, these setups just are not going to work, right? So, it, it's like, Android 21's team is definitely the place where we're gonna have to do that. Um, but I, I could see Androids getting, um, like, an even stronger potential team uh, once superhero stuff starts again. So, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch y'all next time.